In the meantime, are you going to the kitchen? I get to celebrate Porttober. We have Tyler and Brittany and, of course, Randall Newsome. Come on, come on. It's a party I over like here. I like how you said it, it Tenderloin Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. It is <laughs> now Tenderloin Tuesday. We're celebrating Porttober. That's yes. right. 1925 Pub House. Tyler, I, I, I try not to get emotional. Amber knows I, hey, I struggle. I get with, but you, you, you're bringing us tenderloins. Hey, I get emotional about food too. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So you guys are coming all the way from Anderson. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Coming awesome. from Anderson, Indiana, 1925 Pub House, wow. located at uh, Grandview Golf Course. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, now I'm, I'm assuming with that name, you guys have been around a little while. Well, actually, <laughs> the building and the golf course were built in 1925. Okay. Our building is, uh, you know, uh, coming up on 100 years old. So we want to embrace that in yeah. our name. So we went with 1925. Oh, a little history yeah. added in. All right, let's get right to the food. You yes. got us some tenderloins today. What are we putting together? That's correct. Uh, our lovely sous chef, uh, Brittany Sanders, right, is going to be uh, is going to be making a breaded pork tenderloin for you guys today. That's kind of the star of the show, right? Love it for Porktober. So, uh, Britt, if you want to kind of go over, you know, what kind of what, what kind of batter, what kind yeah, of breading we great. use? Yes, please. Uh, Share if your you secrets. Wanna... <laughs> <laughs> Not too many, though. Right, right. Not too many. Not too many. <laughs> okay. Um, we just do like a dry mix. It's seasoned flour. Some cornmeal, some other fun stuff. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Um, other fun stuff. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> and then um, that's just a wet batter with some beer and okay. flour and other stuff. Other yeah. yeah, I love that. <laughs> other stuff. Other stuff. Yeah, I just, you can't um, reveal too many I love secrets that. now. I yes. love that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's put it together. Let's yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. Okay. All right. A little switch and sides here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. While she's doing that, I'm going to yes. grill up some of these buns for her real quick. Oh, you know, you got to toast the buns. Ever, I've been on this show almost eight years <laughs> with real oh. butter. And one of my things in the kitchen is you've got to have a toasted you bun. Toast the bun. <laughs> you got to have buns. a good bun. You can't skimp and ignore it. Now, Tyler, while you're doing that, yeah. you also have a Muncie location. This is Yes, yes, sir. We just opened up uh, in April of this year our Muncie location, downtown Muncie, connected to the Courtyard Marriott That's there. Fine. It's a beautiful spot. Um, uh, it's a little bit newer than okay. our than our other building, uh, so we've got about 26 TVs in there. Okay, uh, great for watching sports and eating tenderloins. You know, love it. Mm -hmm. Two things that my, those are my love languages: that's watching sports, sports and eating, eating tenderloins. tenderloins. I'm telling you. Oh, that's great. That's great. What is the um, the Anderson community? How have they kind of received you guys since you've been there? It's been fantastic. The Anderson community. You know, we, we're in a spot that's a little bit off the beaten path, mm -hmm. not right on our not right on the main stretch of road. So. If you come to our restaurant, you're really kind of seeking us out a little bit because okay. we're, we're kind of tucked away. So the Anderson community has been amazing. You know, we, we opened up in the kind of in the middle of the pandemic, yes. August of 2020, mm -hmm. which wow. is always a Yeah, man, that's not challenge. an easy thing to do. It's, it's not an easy thing to do, but, uh, you know, we rely heavily on things like DoorDash and building up our our. You know, a carry out mm -hmm. business, that kind of thing. And uh, if you have great food, though, people will come. And they're going to they're gonna spread the word, too. That's right. That's love right. It. Love it. Love it. Okay. So, what's, what's going on over there? I don't I'm going to take my eyes off Brittany. <laughs> How long does this typically take? Um, Like four or five minutes. Four or five okay. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We'll Perfect. do that magic of TV thing a little later. Yeah, yeah, right? that, that is the TV thing. That's right. Oh, man. Okay, tell us about Porktober and how you guys are celebrating. How can yes. we take part? Absolutely. So this is our second year partaking in Porktober uh -huh. with the Indiana Culinary Trails. And they do a fantastic job. They've got... Uh, don't quote, ex quote me exactly, but I think about 20 different trails, and we're, oh, nice. we love to be on that tenderloin trail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, last year, we were, uh, you know, we finished in the top five. Okay. We won a bunch of uh, oil from the soybean farmers, which was awesome. Yeah. You know, that was the best gift ever. People who fry up tenderloins. <laughs> and that's, and that's bragging rice, too. That's bragging. To be top five, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, tenderloins that's in right. Indiana is, is a big deal. That's well, right. And that's what I want to know. What do you hear from customers? Like, why is Indiana tenderloin crazy tenderloin crazy it's been the unofficial sandwich in in indiana for like 110 years yeah. from what i mm -hmm. hear so you know people just love them it's it, no matter what we put on our menu we do new items we do specials tenderloins will be our number one seller yeah. that's just that's how it goes yeah. yeah so uh ours is a little bit unique you'll notice we're in a smaller fryer which is actually perfect for us because we don't we don't pound them out and do those super ginormous uh -huh. ones. You see, we like to do a little bit thicker, a little more true uh, 
like pork bite on there oh, yeah. uh, because uh, we use uh, fresh Indiana local pork. So oh, I gotta love that we're, we're not too. using the frozen stuff that's been no, you know, here no. ever. Where on the trail can mm-hmm. people find you if they're just going straight for you guys? Yes. Is there a certain spot or? Well, it's on a, it's a website. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's, I, I want to say, you know, 60 to 90 different restaurants oh, wow. on the trail. And so uh, you, you check in on their social media and based on your check-ins, you know, that's how you win those socks that I was teasing. Those, those <laughs> piggy pork socks. <laughs> those piggy pork socks. Well, what's cool, Randall Newsom, we made it easy for everybody. You see what's on you that bottom those. of your screen? Exactly. You, you, you better is. get to it before I do because I want those piggy pork socks. <laughs> George, I say just visit them all. Get yeah. the QR code, get the map, boom, boom, boom. Yeah.